this is Joy with Swagger Media. I am coming at you today with a new video tutorial for After Effects. Today I'm going to show you guys how I created a weather radar that looks like a hurricane going over Florida. Here's an example. Wow! As you can see there's red where the heavy rain is and then it fades out to the blue just like an actual weather radar. Let's get started. First, Command N for a new composition. I have my duration for 5 seconds, my size 1920 by 1080 full HD square pixels, and we're going to name this one the Radar Pre. Alright, and Command Y for a new solid, and we'll name this solid Fractal. Alright, now go into your effects and presets over here and you can type in fractal or you can go into your effect generate fractal and I just drag and drop mine right onto the screen. Now we're going to go into the settings for the effect controls. Uh, under set choice we're going to do Julia inverse. Under color hit transparency. Okay. Under Julia, the escape limit, we're going to change that to about 9, uh, and that takes off. You can see all that little tiny bits on it. You don't need all of that. 9, 10, 10 looks pretty cool. We'll stick with 10. And then we'll go into the cycle steps under color, and right now it's at 29. We're also going to change that to about 9, and that changes the color. You see it has a much more contrast than before. So, pretty neat. Let's go into your layer there and hit R for rotation and then alt click the stopwatch and it says transform dot rotation. Delete all that. We're going to hit type in time times 30 and what that does is it rotates it 30 degrees every second. So if you make your composition longer than five seconds, shorter than five seconds, you need it to be any other different, you don't have to move around keyframes. It's always going to be rotating 30 degrees per second. Pretty neat. Now, whenever you see it rotating, you see it kind of go off screen a little bit. So we'll go into the magnification under Julia, and we'll type in negative one and that makes it smaller and whenever you go forward in your timeline you no longer lose that effect. You no longer lose your edges. Okay, now select your fractal and then hit command or control D and that is for duplicate. You have two layers, exact same thing. Go into the layer below and go back to your expression under rotation where it says time times 30 and put at the end add 45. So rotating 30 degrees every second plus an extra 45 degrees and now you've got your two your two layers that are rotating like that. Okay so let's make a new composition now and we'll call this radar color okay and take your radar pre throw it in there and in your effects and presets we're going to find colorama alright there we go whoa neat alright in the output cycle you can see that there is that cyan and that pinkish color let's just take those colors right on out okay so now you've got orange in the middle yellow to blue the blue is good because the blue is on the edge because that's where the less rain is but we need to move these over some so that the very center is red there we go we need that red just like that. Okay, and then we're going to add another effect because that doesn't look all that great, does it? 
and we'll call that, well, actually, let's do this uh, on each individual layer so that it does something a little neat instead of the two. So go back into your radar underscore pre, or your first composition, whatever you happen to name it, and we'll type in turbulent displace, and we'll drag that over this, and as you can see, it has distorted it, but hasn't really distorted it enough. So we'll go into the amount, make it maybe like 130, something where if, if other little colors pop up, that's really cool because that like spreads out the rain and you can do it, I mean you can do it to where it's something like that and that wouldn't even look like a hurricane, it would look like a regular storm radar um, and that's pretty neat but I'm going to keep my amount to probably somewhere around 135 just for the fun of it and then we'll go into the evolution and let's let's do it down here Hit, I hit E for effect, found turbulent displace, evolutions options, and where is it? Where is it? Oh, didn't even need to do that. It's just right there. We're going to do the same thing we did before, time times 30, because that just seems to be my favorite expression today. And so now you can see that it's evolving and moving around much better and it's kind of like liquid and you can copy your effect and we'll paste it onto the fractal below and now we've got two individually moving layers we'll make the amount on this one maybe uh, 145 just to have a little bit of a variation so now you have these two layers going down let's go back into the radar color and as you can see you've got your moving around and it looks pretty pretty interesting but it doesn't look anything like a weather radar at all but we're gonna fix that Go back into your effects and presets and let's type in twirl. Under distort you'll find twirl, drag it on. Alright, let's grab the angle so that we can see how far it's twisting. And we grabbed the angle up pretty good, 339 right there. And with the twirl radius you can see what it's catching and how much of it it's catching and so you want the radius to encompass all of it and that looks way too twirled, doesn't it? So we'll bring the angle down to something that's more appropriate. I stopped at, let's do 229. Uh, for people that like things to be in perfect order, we'll do 230, even though it's not like that in the rest of the tutorial. All right, neat. So now we have this evolving, twirling thing, but it looks just like a bunch of colors. Still doesn't look anything like the news. So we're going to add something called the CC block load. In the effects and presets, we'll type in CC block load. There we go. Oh, where'd it go? I'll tell you. Bring your completion up. We'll take it up to 100 just to see what's going on here. And in the scans, we'll just make that, okay, 16 just so that we can see what's going on. And let's drag our completion back down and you can see that it's making those blocks. And you can make it uh, however blocky you want. I'm probably going to stick to something around 12 because I like the way that looks. Anything else is a little bit too smooth. 16 is pretty good. We could do 16 and 16. That one works for me. Alright, now we're going to put this over our map. 
Okay, so let's make a new composition, Command N, and composition name, we'll name this uh, Florida map. Florida underscore map. And this is something neat that you can do. You can either make your frame rate something about three frames per second, or you can use the posterize time effect which is something that I'm going to do. So I'm leaving my frame rate at 29.97, but just so that you know for the future, it's an option that you have. Okay, so I have an image called US Map. I just grabbed anything off of Google. You can grab it, it's, this is not for sale, so you don't have to do that and I'm positioning it. I'm going to scale it up and position it some more. That looks okay. And we'll bring in our radar color over it. Okay, looks kind of big. So we'll scale, scale it down some. Maybe we want it to be a little bit bigger. And let's bring the transparency. Uh, I hit T for opacity. We'll make it about 90 so you can see just barely past it, but it's still there. And you know, I'm actually going to go back into my radar underscore color here and go back into the effects. And with my CC block load, I'm actually going to change this to 12. I like it looking really blocky and 12 seems to be a good number to go by. Okay, now let's um, move this hurricane over the map. So we'll make a position keyframe. I hit P for position. Hit for position, move it wherever you want. Move it to the, move your thing to the end of the timeline. Move your hurricane some more. And here we go. Now you have your hurricane that's moving across. But that's a mighty smooth looking movement whenever you watch it go by. So what you're going to want to do for that is another composition. Command N and this one will be called Florida Map Time. Okay, and we'll drag Florida Map in there. And this is the really cool effect posterize time drag it on there frame rate this is 24 we're changing it to 3 way down there and now we're gonna preview and even though this is in a 29.97 frame rate everything is blocky just the way it should be in the way that you see the weather radars there we go all right, that was fast, that was simple. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed showing you a little trick up my sleeve. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.